Hi friends, we're going to use two pillows for our practice today to help us calm our mind, calm down some anxiety we might be experiencing. Let's lay down on our pillows. Lay your spine down, let your head rest on your stacked pillows. And just rest your arms by your sides. Walk the soles of the feet in to touch and open your knees out wide like a book. And just start to close your eyes. And just start to shift your attention towards your breath. And as you inhale, you draw the breath up across your collarbones. Feel your shoulder blades lift a little higher to the front of the chest. And when you exhale, let it go through the mouth. And start to soften into your jaws. As you start to feel the rise and the fall of your breath, the ebb and the flow, this natural rhythm, and start to tune into your heart. Stay here for just a few more deep breaths. Take another deep breath here. You start to stretch your arms back however you like and stretch your toes forward, stretch your feet forward. Give yourself a big stretch here. And let's cactus the arms. So bend the elbows 90 degrees. Let's get a little bit deeper into the shoulders, the chest, and then extend the arms wide. And you slowly melt your arms down by your side. Just walk your feet in and roll onto one side. Gently press yourself up. We're going to move into a melting puppy pose. Let's, let's turn the pillows to the long side and then bump the pillows next to each other. And then walk your hands to the pillow on the top and let the chest melt down and start to come back to your breath. This is a pose that some of us can really overarch the lower back. So if you find that you're having pressure in the low back, then lift the frontal hip bones up towards your navel. So we can start to lengthen and find space in our spine, especially our lower back.
And let's take one more deep breath here. When you're ready to come out, slowly walk yourself up. And let's move into wine, mindful and slow cat-cow. And come into neutral spine, we're going to move into a supported child's pose. Bring a pillow behind your knees and then walk forward a little, let your hands rest on the other pillow. Keep your arms soft, let your elbows bend towards the mat. Then just start to breathe. Maybe start to infuse some gratitude and love into your breath. A few more deep breaths here. When you're ready to come out, you're just going to slowly start to walk yourself up, roll your spine up to a seat. We're going to move into a supported half pigeon now and bring the seated pillow forward. Walk your right foot in front of it and then toe heel the right foot over to the left. Bring the hands down to the pillow in front of you. You can readjust yourself and just lay your arms, lay your head or side of the cheek down onto your pillow. And you might start to feel sensation or experience some tenderness in your body. And take your focus there. Wherever you need support, take your attention there. So you really self-care and self-love throughout the practice.
Take another deep breath here. When you're ready to come out, you can slowly start to walk yourself up. And walk your right foot over to the right. Send the right leg back and just give yourself some nice stretch here. Stretch your right foot back a few times. And then maybe draw some circles a few times. Whenever you're ready, you're going to bring your right knee down and then walk your left foot forward in front of the pillow and toe heel the left foot over to your right and come into your half pigeon on the left side. Just rest your forearms down, rest your head down on the pillow. And notice where you are feeling sensation and tenderness, wherever you feel like you need some support, breathe into it. Send your breath there. Take another deep breath and you slowly start to walk yourself up and then walk the left foot back over towards the left and you stretch your left leg back a few times and then maybe make some circles a few times. And whenever you feel ready, no rush, take your time. We're only going to need one pillow for the next pose. We're going to lay down into our happy baby. Make sure you have a pillow underneath your head 
and then hug your knees into your chest. Just gently rock side to side for now. And then we can start to move into our happy baby. Your arms are going to reach inside your knees and hands reaching for the outside of your feet. You can gently rock side to side if that feels nice. You can stay still. Whatever feels good here for you. Whatever your body is calling for. Take a moment here to bring your focus, your attention to your lower back and your tailbone. Your tailbone really likes to curl up here. So be mindful. Can you gently, gently press the tailbone down towards the earth? Your lower back does not have to be flat on the floor. There should be a natural curvature of your spine, but try not to lift the tailbone up too high. And then we're going to start to pay attention into the inner thighs, your medial hamstrings. So start to breathe into your inner thighs. You can stay here. For those of you who want to go a little deeper, you can bring the peace fingers, hook them onto your big toes, and let's start to extend your right leg straight for now. Keep your left knee bent. And take a couple deep breaths here. And you gently bring your right leg back and switch side. Extend your left leg now. Keep your right knee bent and breathe. And then slowly coming back into a straddle if this is what you were doing. And take a couple more deep breaths here. If you are in straddle, come back to a classic happy baby for a couple more deep breaths. Gently release your happy baby, hug your knees in, and then slowly roll onto one side, press yourself up. We're going to move on to our next pose now. We're going to come sit on one pillow, moving into Baddha Konasana. Butterfly pose. You interlace your hands and cup your hands under your feet. Take a breath in to lengthen your spine and then exhale, hinge at your hips, lean forward with a flat back, and you can use your elbows to press your knees out to the side. Lift the sternum forward and come back to your breath. And start to breathe into your inner thighs here. Take your focus there, take your attention there, so we can really take care of ourselves in this practice. And in this hip opening pose, we're clearing out a lot of stuff. We're letting go a lot of stuff. We're creating space to really tune in and to be sensitive to what is arising. We breathe into it, not away. So deep breath in, really fill up those space that are stuck and sticky, uncomfortable. And exhale, we let it go. And again, inhale, breathe into the areas that's uncomfortable, that's sticky, that's tender. And then exhale, let it go. And just continue to breathe this way.
You're going to take one more deep breath here. And you slowly start to roll your spine up. And bring your feet in front of you. Just windshield wipe your knees side to side. When you're ready, we're going to come down on our back. And make sure you're laying on one pillow underneath your head. And you're going to bring the second pillow between your knees. We're going to come into a nice supported supine twist. You're going to slide your hips over to the left and let your knees drop to the right. If the neck is allowed, you can turn the gaze towards the left. Make sure the left shoulder is melting down to the floor. And once the body starts to settle, you come back to that conscious, nourishing breath. And you'll take one more deep breath here. And we're going to switch sides. So slide the hips over to the right and let the knees fall to the left. Maybe gaze towards the right if the neck is allowed. And just let that right shoulder melt into the earth. And we come back to our breath here. And one more deep breath in. And next, how you're going to slowly come back to center. You remove your pillow between your knees and then place that pillow underneath your thighs. And then you're going to bring the soles of the feet to touch. Let the knees open out to the sides like a book. Bring your left hand on your heart, right hand on your belly. And we're going to start to settle into our Shavasana. And start to come back to that natural rhythm of your breath. And just let the breath start to flow smoothly in and out of you without controlling it in any way or restricting your breath in any way. And now the breath is more evenly distributed. And we start to turn our attention inward and notice if there's any areas of tension, resistance, or holding. Take your breath there and nurture those places. 
And as you inhale, fill yourself up with that breath. And as you exhale, let it go through your mouth and clear everything out. As you let the eyes draw back, the hinge of your jaw starts to soften. We ask ourselves these questions. How do we live our life a little easier, a little freer, maybe free from stress? And how do we feel open and spacious? Sometimes it's learning how to let go. And Shavasana is the ultimate letting go, releasing right back into the earth. So take this time to rest and reset. Gently start to deepen your breath. You gently bring your awareness back towards your body. And take a deep breath in to stretch your arms back, stretch your toes forward like you just woke up in the morning. Maybe you want to rotate your wrists and ankles, pop some knuckles if you like. And when you're ready, you hug your knees in, roll onto one side, and let's press ourselves up to a seat. And maybe you want to come sit on the pillow. And we bring our hands to our heart and start to rub the palms to create some heat and create some energy. And we want to send this positive energy out to the people you love, to the people that you care about, and the people that you hold dear to your heart. And then we're going to rub our palms again, create some more heat and energy positive vibration and we're going to send this love to ourselves so bring a hand on your heart and a hand on your belly so we end our practice here with self-care and self-love thank you for sharing your practice with me shanti and namaste